East Lakeshore Drive is, of course, about the most prestigious address in Chicago, in part because of these fantastic buildings in a row here along the street, all looking out over Oak Street Beach. Many of them by Benjamin Marshall, who built the Blackstone Hotel, the Drake Hotel, designed, I should say. This one we're going into, this very prim wall of red brick, it's by Fugard and Knapp. This is 219 East Lakeshore Drive, and we'll be going to the sixth floor. Hi, welcome to 219 East Lakeshore Drive, Unit 6D. We're in the foyer, right? Beautiful foyer. Off to your right and left, gracious formal living and dining areas. So that's dining, and then behind me here is the beautiful, gracious formal living room, beautiful views. Beautiful closets. And then here are those little seats, little seats, those window seats in the dining room. That's a very nice room with this cove ceiling. And Mitch, you said the chandelier has been removed. So yes, they to took that with them to their new unit over on the AB side. Oh, this is great. There are also lovely built-ins here as well. Don't even notice it, but this is your built-in china cabinet. Oh. The owner was very creative in the use of space. There are a lot of built-ins, as you'll see when we enter the kitchen. Most of the buildings here on East Lakeshore Drive were originally high-end rental buildings. In the late 80s, early 90s is when most of them converted to condominium or co-ops. 189 and 219 are the only condominium buildings on the block, which is better for resale because they are not cash-only buildings like most of the other co-ops on the block. So if I'm buying elsewhere on the block, I'm paying $6 million and I'm bringing in $6 million cash? $6 million cash. Two other allow 50% financing, but then you have to go through the uh, cooperative board approval, which sometimes can be a little difficult. So the condominium market is preferable here in Chicago as opposed to other cities like New York. Oh, I see. Plus, for the money, I get this view out over Lakeshore Drive to Oak Street Beach. It's beautiful, isn't it? The view of Oak Street Beach from the master bedroom. And then here is the master bedroom. The cellars have moved out already, obviously, but there are crown moldings, base molding, lots of panel molding on the walls. Three beautiful windows. And my owners, as a testament to the building and how um, well it's liked, are selling this unit and they bought a larger unit twice the size in the building. In the same building? In the same building. Most of the larger units are private transactions because they are so desirable. Um, the last one that came on the market was the unit right above this was on for one day and sold for $4.5. Five million. Wow. And this one is priced at? 2.25, 2,200 square feet. Originally a three-bedroom, three-bath converted to a three-bedroom, two-bath. This is the second of the three bedrooms. My owners have converted this into part of their master suite. They've created a huge walk-in closet, removed the bathroom, and this was their little sitting area slash office. As you can see, there are Juliet balconies overlooking uh, the uh, gazebo and park for 209 East Lake Shore Drive. The building's completely um, tuck pointed front and back within the last five years, and all the Juliet balconies were reaffixed to the building. The building is in tip top shape. How many Juliets does this one have? Just this one? Just this one that wraps around to the dining room, as you'll see, and there are little window seats that you can sit on while enjoying the beautiful view. Oh, nice. Now we're entering the kitchen. As you can see, it was recently upgraded within the last five years. Chef's kitchen, uh, double Dagonel ovens, you've got your wolf. Um, your KitchenAid and your full-size Sub-Zero. In addition to that, you have your filtered water and instant hot water, okay. built-in cutting boards, new window treatments, and very rare do you have this much light in a kitchen in a vintage unit. Yeah, Three windows. This is really light. And I think you said laundry's right here behind me? Yep, you have a full-size stack washer and dryer fully contained in the closet. And then we're going on into what was The third the bedroom slash den. Look at these wonderful built-ins. There's wow. a built-in closet here as well. More than that, look at all this light. This is terrific. Right. If you look out the window, there is a fantastic view of the John Hancock, as well as the uh, garden built above the garage for 209 East Lake Shore Drive. Uh, I'm not really getting the Hancock. There it is. 
And additionally, you have this beautiful built-in Murphy bed. Be happy to pull, pull this down for you. Great use of space in a unit this size. So. This is so old time. Yeah, and actually built-in lights as well. So. Oh, that's great. So they can use it as a bedroom or as some sort of office. Correct. And then there's your second bathroom there right behind you. Oh, great. 